Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are hurricane prepping. <laughs> so, um, as some of you guys already know, I live in the Tampa area. Well, n I'm north of Tampa. Um, but, um, Hurricane Idelia is now showing category three and the weather guy that I watch, which is Weatherman Plus, I'll link him down below. Uh, he says that it could potentially maybe be cat four. So, um, right now we're not showing that we're in that cone of certainty anymore. It's moved over a little bit. I'll try to take a screenshot so that I can maybe put it in to show like where it's at on the map or whatever. Um, but it is concerning. I am worried. I have a lot of anxiety when it comes down to storms. Sorry, I can't help that. I have problems. So, <laughs> um, I have anxiety really bad on a daily. So when a storm's coming, it just makes it even worse. Um, but last storm that we had last year here, um, it ended up, it ended up turning out to be fine. Um, because at the last few hours, it turned uh, further south. So it was supposed to hit Tampa last year and then it went further south. So then we didn't get the worst parts of the storm. Um, so this is, I think, an east loaded storm. So technically we will still get some even if we aren't in the path of it anymore. But there's a possibility that it could turn last minute like the other one did. I don't remember what the other one was. Two names are being thrown at me for some reason. It's Ida and Ian. But I don't know which one it was. So we're going to be prepping today. Um, I have to go outside. It looks like it's about to actually storm now. So rain. Today is Monday. It's supposed to start getting effects, I think, by Tuesday afternoon or evening. Um, I don't know who all is going to be home with me during this hurricane. I know Robert is working. He will not be here. Um, and then... Joe, I don't know if he's going to be here, um, so we might be by ourselves, I'm not sure. So I need to go outside and I want to start moving the things that I can move by myself um, to help them out because by tomorrow evening, Robert will have to report back to work and then he will not be allowed to come back home until the storm's over. And I don't know about Joseph yet because they haven't made any decisions, I guess, where he works. So that's all questionable. Um... And this is a new job for him, so he's he doesn't have anything to go off of, like past or whatever. So um, I'm going to go out there and move whatever I can from this front area here. I'm going to start there first because in the afternoons, the sun likes to face the front of my house and it gets really, really hot. So I want to go out there and do that first and then go to the backyard and start uh, washing off the pool and cleaning it up so that that I can deflate and put into the garage. So everything I'm pretty much going to be piling into the garage, um, which in a way is not a bad thing because we need to do a lot of stuff to our garage. We need to fully deep clean it and rearrange it and all kinds of stuff. So in a way, this is a good thing because then when we go to put everything else out, we might go ahead and declutter and do everything that we need to do to the garage so that would be pretty cool so we might um this happening might actually be it's not a good thing that it's happening i'm just saying it might be helping our motivation to do things that we need to do that we don't want to do anyway so i'm gonna get out there i'm gonna go do that because i also still have to meal prep a couple of things maybe for robert to take with him to work so that that way he's not relying on the cafeteria and things like that. So um, we'll just have to see. Let's go get this done. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me. Got you smiling, that's for sure. Funny how you had the best of done.
So I ended up coming in because it actually looks like it's about to storm outside. Um, all the rain clouds are coming in. Um, prior to going out there, I did put our, um, what is it called? Solar powered, um, like flashlights and all that kind of stuff out here. So I'm actually going to bring that in because those solar power things also do have the ability to plug in and charge them. So... In all honesty, I'm probably going to end up doing that because I don't want them to get rained on and ruin them. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those in. I also have a radio, too, that um, we'll be using. <coughs> Put it on a car, but I don't bring them in because I don't want it to start storming. We're supposed to have um, scattered thunderstorms going through, and it's been kind of breezy today, which is nice. Um, so it's making it to where it's not like too hot right now here in Florida but it's muggy like it's very very humid right now and you can definitely tell that um there are storms coming um that's so crazy but my uh my security system keeps on going off 
because of the wind already so <laughs> it's already like there's someone outside or you know there's someone at the door or there's someone you know in the driveway when really there's nothing it's just the wind already kind of starting it's probably just the afternoon um like random thunderstorms going through but um yeah it's very humid out there um it's not hot because us floridians we we know what hot weather is but no it's just humid um as soon as you go out there you immediately just start sweating all over like i'm pouring in sweat and i haven't even barely done anything but it's not because of the heat it's just because of the moisture content in the air um so i'm gonna move inside then since i can't do anything out there um the guys will probably end up having to do more later on this evening whenever they get home um if I film it, I don't know, because later on in the afternoon, we we need to move all of the AC units, because we had three AC units when our AC was out, um, portable ones. Um, we need to move them somewhere else, because I can't access the deep freezer that has all of our food in it for, like, frozen meat and stuff. So... I don't even have anything taken out for dinner tonight um, because I cannot access any meat in there. So um, we are going to have to do that this evening um, and put them where they're supposed to go. Um, hopefully I get a chance to film it, but in all honesty, I might even forget. So I'm not promising that. Um, so I'm going to come in now and I'm going to start cleaning in the house, um, cleaning like the bathrooms and just getting things kind of in order, you know, so that that way I like things to be clean whenever a storm's coming, because one thing I don't like is the fact that you can lose power and then you can't see where you're walking or, you know, you have to worry about things on the floor or whatever. So I always like to do a little bit of a deep clean or fast clean before, um, that happens because last hurricane in the other house, um, I think it was Irma. Um, we were without power for four or five days. So I don't want that to happen <laughs> again. I know that it probably won't happen because last, um, last hurricane that we had here, we didn't have no outages of any sort. Uh, we did perfectly fine. So I don't know if that's going to be like that with this one. This one seems to be stronger coming. Um, and we don't know where it's going to make landfall 100% till further, you know, until closer to time. So I rather have all of the laundry done and everything done in the house. Um, and I do need to make a few things for Robert to take to work because, like I said, he will be um, leaving Tuesday evening and not coming back until the storm is completely passed. I think that they wait until it's all the way past and that the... Um, the road conditions are cleared or they say that you know winds are only 30 miles an hour or whatever you know something like that i don't remember the exact like protocol the hospital has but it's something along those lines so um i'm gonna get to doing that and let's hope for the best that we can get everything done in time because this one's coming pretty quick um but we should be able to the guys are probably going to be really tired, and that's why I was out there doing as much as I could. They mainly do the outside stuff, um, but I try to chip in wherever I can so that they don't have so much to do because they they work, of course. Um, so let's go get it done. kind of day it is this happened before I dropped the bag because I didn't want to dirty up scissors or use scissors it's a day yes but we're still here it is worth
King can come now. We got the brownies ready. Let's go. Alrighty, so it is currently 11.20 and um, so far all we are getting is little outer bands that is like rain. Um, I don't think that it's supposed to technically like start until around like 2 or 3 a.m. I'm, I'm not sure really because it moved further to the west so that's good. Um, I mean not good for those people. I feel really bad that they're in the in the path but um, we're starting to get a little bit of winds here and there but they said that we won't have sustained winds so um, it's just going to be gust here and there. Um, I think it'll get worse a little bit later on tonight as they start going through um, but it feels pretty good out here. It's actually it's not very humid at all. It feels actually like a cool breeze in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit out here for a little while and enjoy it and maybe stay up a little bit late tonight so I can see if um, we get any kind of action because I'm anxious of storms but if I know that it's not going to be bad then I, like I'm calm. I'm very calm. Um, once I saw this afternoon that it moved further over and all that it really calmed me down a lot so um, now it's just the outer bands and like little little things here and there so that I like. I enjoy storms, but just not really bad ones. <laughs> but let's see what happens around 2 a.m. or so. Of course, I went inside and literally walked out to the back and the rain got worse. So, we got another... You can probably see it better because we have more trees in the back. So... It's still only 11 something. Ooh, we got lightning now. So we must have a good band going through. Um, my phone's giving me issues right now, so... I'm not really... I don't think I'm really getting an accurate forecast right now, if I'm being honest, so... Oh yeah, it's starting to rain in here now. And Mason is not having it. How are you, Mason? He went to come out here to go to the bathroom and now he's like, nope, not happening. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Yeah, so let's get a storm going through. Let me see if I can uh, look up on the radar, maybe. Oh yeah, there goes the wind. Alright, so we'll see what it looks like out here later on.